Whew, it has been a while. Welcome back to Mark Reviews. Thank you for subscribing and sticking with me throughout my absence the last couple of weeks. I had influenza. I mean, that's, that's really what it is. And it's the strain that's been going around this winter. Um, that turned into laryngitis, which turned into the early stages of walking pneumonia. But I am on the mend now. Um, I can talk again, which is nice because for almost a week there I couldn't speak. And one upside to having all of that time to just sit on a couch and not do anything is that I finished reading this awesome new book. This is Servant Leadership in Action, edited by Ken Blanchard and Renee Broadwell. Um, brand new book. This just came out in the month of March, and I want to thank FSB Associates and uh, specifically Fauzia Burke, um, their CEO or their president. There's Fauzia right there, uh, for sending me an advanced copy of this book. I meant to post this review on March 6th, which is when this book came out, um, but guess what? Now it's available. You can go pick up a copy of this or the audiobook version um, on Amazon.com. I will leave a link in the description below to where you can go pick up a copy on your own. You may not know who Ken Blanchard is. If you're in the business world and you've heard of situational leadership, that's his baby. That's He created that. Um, Ken Blanchard is the author of a lot of different books. Um, but this one is different than a lot of the books that I've read in the past. And I've done several book reviews here on Mark Reviews, and I've read a lot of books, listened to audiobooks, specifically on management, leadership, etc. because I'm a manager in a leadership role. Um, this is one of my favorites that I've ever, ever read. I want to tell you what makes this book and this leadership book different than others that I've read. And, you know, here's an example. This entire list on the back is people who contributed to this book. So these are names that you may recognize from other leadership books, um, other management type books, self-help books, self-improvement books um, that are out there. And they all contributed to this book. So they took the concept of servant leadership and every one of these authors, every one of these contributors wrote an essay on that topic. Um, so that made this easily digestible. It's broken into several different sections, but within each section, um, they're just these quick snippets, quick hits. So, you know, anywhere between four and eight pages, um, just these quick little essays on people's thoughts on servant leadership. So let me, let me tell you some of the people um, that contributed to this, Ken Blanchard, obviously, Brene Brown, Stephen M. R. Covey, the son of Stephen R. Covey, John Gordon, author of The Energy Bus, Mark Miller, CEO of Chick-fil-A, Dave Ramsey of The Total Money Makeover, Simon Sinek, who has gotten a lot of attention recently for his comments on millennials and engaging in the workforce, etc. So, and that's just a quick smattering of the people who contributed to this book. Part of what I loved about it, it kept my attention because every individual essay had a different writing style, a different approach, and a different life view or philosophy or perspective based on their varied backgrounds. This is like the brain trust or, or the think tank of business leaders and motivational speakers and religious leaders across the nation um, contributing their best thoughts on servant leadership in action and how to be a servant leader. I highly recommend the book. In fact, I've recommended it to several coworkers that have already gone and purchased their own copies. I think this may become a new standard, you know, something that you see in office buildings across the United States and beyond. It's going to be added to my shelf of other business books and management books and leadership books that I've read. Um, one of my favorites in the last several years. One thing to be aware of going in, there's no objectionable material in here, nothing that's not you know, suitable for a wide audience. But you may want to be aware that they use Jesus Christ as an example of servant leadership. Uh, it's not from a religious standpoint. They're not trying to proselyte or, you know, convert you through this book. But several of the chapters, as these people are religious leaders or just Christian business leaders, um, several people will refer to Jesus Christ as an example of a servant leader. They also refer to people like Mother Teresa and Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. So, 
you know, it's it's balanced out and it's well-rounded. I personally had no problem with that. I'm very familiar with the Bible. You know, I know a lot about Jesus Christ. And for me, that helped reinforce the principles in this book. But for some people, yeah, you may come to a chapter or a section or something that you want to skip over. And that's fine. The material that's in here is phenomenal, though. Um, I think it's worth everyone's time. If you are a leader, um, if you are a business leader, a manager, even if you are just a parent or you know a, a person in your community that does volunteer work, this book will benefit you. You'll find something in here. You'll connect with one of these you know, 30 authors that contributed to this book. Something in here will speak to you. And it's a quick read because you can just pick up an essay or two here or there as you have time. Okay, that'll do it for this Mark Reviews stuff. Go pick up Servant Leadership in Action. Link in the description below. It's brand new, so you can't tell me what you think about this book until you go read it or listen to it yourself. So go do that, then leave your comments in the section below. What do you think of this book? Um, Ken Blanchard in general, what's your favorite management or leadership book? Chances are I have already reviewed it on this channel, and if not, I'd be happy to check it out. Let me know. Thanks. Subscribe to this channel by clicking over here and on this side, check out some of the other videos that I've done. And thank you for subscribing to Mark Reviews.